Hello, this is a demo file of my HTML form. Let's go ahead and try it. Uh, custom menu, click me, and list of items. OK. The first launch requires authorization. OK, let's authorize the script. I continue, select my email, advanced, go to unsafe section, and that's it, allow the script to run. And the script shows all items from here, and it shows all them, all these items here in this list. And next thing the script can do, oh, well, first let's check, let's add a, an, a new item max, OK, and go to click me, list of items again, and loading, I see this value max is in the list now. And you also may search. Click one and two and leave only one available value. So it is searchable like Google. Let's search for letter O and select some items with Ctrl and Shift keys and then click Submit button. And the script sees that items I selected were and list of items. OK. Let's see to script editor. You'll find out how to use this sample file for your needs. Here are modification points. First, an open function which creates your custom menu. You may have your own an open menu here. Click me or your menu and change it to your needs. OK, let's next see get HTML form settings and this is settings function. Form name, select an item. You see, select an item is written here at the top. Next, go back to my script and see a, lot, a list name. List name is empty and this is just the name of this list here. You see this dark blue line here and it, it is it because this list name is empty let's call it somehow let's call it Q okay and load the script again see well I changed the list name to Q and now my list have a name Q header it's a custom header just and that's it uh, I'd leave it Blank and ne next uh, li list height uh, is the height of this list. It has fixed width, so you can scroll if you have much values or use this search. Let's launch it again. You see, uh, no Q here right now. Let's search for D dummy and select dummy submit. You've selected Danny, everything works fine. And let's go back to script again and see the next section. Uh, get data for HTML form uh, select. This function gets the sheet one and um, gets data range, so all range from here. Any NSL will be counted to this list. And next returns this data, but you may create your own data function. Uh, we'll just modify my function and return another data. Return information from your docs, slides, uh, Google Calendar, uh, some API from your program, your CRM, or so forth, maybe anything you want. And next uh, uh, response, response select form. Uh, it has selected items, and selected items is an array uh, of items that I or anyone selected. So it contains more, more, more two and more six. I have a, an error with my internet connection, so I just continue. Oh, internet is now fine. Uh, you selected more, more six, more two and more, and everything okay. And that, that, that were the items that I've selected and 
you may create your own function output. So use these values to run your function or do something useful for your case in your program.